Hey, made a little modification here today. I put uh, a beacon. This is a LED bulb inside here instead of that strobe. Uh, I don't know that it's brighter than the strobe, but they say they're more noticeable. And so it gives kind of a bluish light, but it doesn't take much power to run it. Uh, I can adjust the flash patterns. It's not just a steady flash. It blinks different, uh, which you can change that pattern. And I'm hoping that that'll... I could put an H1 bulb in there too, which is a halogen a halogen bulb which is really bright it's a lot bit brighter than that thing but they say those aren't as noticeable as this so I'm going to try this for a while and see how it works out it's driven by a, a flasher unit that's down in here uh, I would guess you can see those lights blinking on there and uh, that's that's the flasher unit that's controlling it and by putting a, a switch on one wire, you can change the flash pattern, but those red lights show you what the flash pattern is. Uh, <clears throat> also, I should say, if anybody ever buys this airplane, why these are ground wires here and here. Uh, that's where most of the, of the low tension things on the aircraft are grounded on these two screws here, back here. Uh, a lot of the things I did on here had to do with the consideration of fire and stuff because uh, for instance this on the starter motor wire is a big heavy wire and you might say well why didn't I put the relay back here then I don't only have to run small wires but uh, I did that because I wanted the battery in the front anyway and also uh, I kind of thought the chance of fire if there's only one wire that's hot between the relay which is mounted underneath the back or underneath the front seat and if this wire is dead all the time there's a lot less chance of a fire or a big short if there was an accident or something like that so that was the purpose of that so anyways that's that's the deal with this now somebody else was asking me about how I mounted the radiator I mounted it onto this uh, tube right here which uh, kind of braces the tail boom. I made uh, clamps, which are is just basically drilling a one inch hole through a block of aluminum or two blocks of aluminum that are screwed together. Uh, it's what I call a pinch bolt clamp. It, it, it just pinches on this tube. And then I have something that I can bolt something to. So I put uh, screws in here and these braces here brace the top of the radiator. The radiator came from a Honda Civic, but most radiators have some way to mount them. You'll see screw holes in them somewhere to mount them. And down here at the bottom, I'll have to see if you can see that. There's not much light in here. Uh, this this piece here was just something I made. Went through one of these pinch bolt things. It's clamped on this tube, and the screws go into the radiator here. And I just made a a piece to fit on here that goes through this pinch bolt so it's at the bottom it's clamped to this tube too so really the radiator is hanging uh, from this uh, brace tube right here and uh, these uh, piano hinge here just hold the covers on that covers this area up originally it had a, a big cloth cover or something on here but I I kind of changed that so anyways uh, as you can see my strobes working now or I wouldn't call it a strobe it's actually a beacon I guess but but uh, you can see the lights on there flashing I think and uh, see the little red lights down there that that tells you what pattern it's flashing and everything so now I gotta cinch up all these wires and you'll notice I mounted the coils under here the coils are not mounted on the engine so I don't get vibration and so forth affecting the coils and also it makes it a whole lot easier to take the engine off so everything's made with with plugs, I used trailer plugs to make it real easy to take the engine off. That was a real consideration when I built this thing because uh, it makes it easy to get it off and get it down and start working on it.